Welcome to Red's Opening Day here from Fountain Square in Cincinnati, Ohio. We got the parade coming to you at 12 o'clock or just like a Disney parade. What time does that parade start? Well, it starts at 12. It'll take a little bit of time for it to get here. It's a mile and three quarters parade route. The longest running parade and biggest party for a baseball anywhere with the Reds being the first Major League Baseball team. They always open here at home. So let's get ready to go here. We're going to have a good time at Fountain Square. If you see me out here, come on over and say hi. Woo! There we go. We got the music on. This is the primary area. Sarah Dashie! Welcome in, welcome in. Share this sucker out. Here we go. All right, look at this crowd. And of course, we've got Skyline over here going. We got Skyline. Yeah. This area during the winter months has the nice skating rink on it. It's larger than the one in New York. And so, and here we got people taking pictures with Skyline stuff. Look at this here. They're getting their pictures with Skyline. And over here, man, we got a lot of stuff going. We'll see what happens. Woo, what a time we've got. Hey. All right, we've got Little Debbie. Little Debbie, they're giving away. They're giving away some blueberry mini muffins. Yeah. No, thank you. That doesn't fit my diet right now, unfortunately. So, so there's all kinds of stuff around here. And this is Fountain Square, Cincinnati, Ohio. You. And they are selling the conies. And let's see, you get cheese conies, walking tacos, and Rally House. Rally House is cranking out there. Merch. Let's see here. Straighten it out. <laughs> ah, you'll take one. Sarah, you need more than one. You need more than one. You got the jerseys, hats, and there's a line. Look at this line going back. Line for Rally House. The people are waiting to get their merch. Officially, it is a holiday in the city of Cincinnati. Nobody does opening day like Cincinnati. Woo! Here we go! Oh, yeah! All right, let's see here. Let's get over here and watch and make some conies real quick for people who don't know what they are. If you're in the Orlando area, there is a brand new Skyline Chili. Just opened a few months ago. It's on the back side of Animal Kingdom in Flamingo Crossings. Excuse me, please. Thank you. Excuse me, please. Excuse me. Thank you. So, as they say, it's skyline time. Look at these conies. All right. What do we say? You got, you got hot sauce for those? Oh, yeah. There you go. So they are putting together the conies over here. Oh, you gotta have the conies. The Tyler Davidson Fountain. Uh, you might recognize this if you're old enough to have seen WKRP in Cincinnati. There you go, one of the famous icons from that show even though the fountain was here long before it, but they did. They did run everything on that. Let me double check one thing on my settings here real quick. See what I'm... Uh, I, I want to check. Boom. 
Okay. We're good. We're good. Hey, Sarah, how's that picture look? How does that picture look? Whoop. You don't want that. Yeah, sorry, bro. There we go. Just zoom in a little bit. Sorry about that. Bump the reverse camera. All right, let's go ahead, now. The Reds are going to jump on it bright and early this year. Get started with the win today. <laughs> yeah. Let's see here. Excuse me, please. Thank you. Let's go down over this way. Oh, come on now. And we've got one of our local TV stations set up here. We're just ready. I believe this is Channel 12. WKRC. I do believe that's them. And you got some local breweries, the microbreweries around the area. Here we got Mad Tree. And there are other ones around the area as well. And moving out over here. How you doing, sir? So, the, what, what do you have to say about the Reds this year? What do you think? Well, here's hoping. <laughs> there you go. I mean, with a day like this as a kickoff, it is as hard. It's hard to do better than this, you know. Oh, this is perfect. Yeah. Perfect weather. <laughs> There's only been one day in opening day that was warmer, and that was only like four degrees. So, yeah. we're yeah. good. And I think the spirit of the city is. Yeah, it's coming and going, but it's coming big time right yeah, now. Yeah. So. We're looking forward to it, always, yeah. always. Who are you with? Yeah. Yeah. I have my own YouTube channel. It's me, David T. Oh, okay. uh, I'm live on YouTube right now. Oh, you want to you do a hit? Uh, I mean, take me out to the ball game on the harmonica? There we go. We've got a gentleman who's going to do take me out to the ball game yeah. on harmonica. On harmonica. <laughs> From what I hear, this is going to be better than Casey's Corner at Disney World. Here we go. Applause, applause, everybody. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Go Reds. Go Reds. All right, there we go. We started off with a little take me out to the ball game. Let's see. We're going to move down this way so I can get into area to be ready for this parade. Oh, we got people doing some dancing over here. It's got me out of the majority of the music area, so hopefully we don't get hit with copyright area through there. Uh, so, whoever else is in here, I show only five people. Thank you all for joining in. Hey, go Reds! All right. So, we're going to go right here. The parade will be coming straight down Fifth Street here. This is Vine. This is Fifth and Vine, which is where you've got... Fountain Square, this is blocked off right now for the TV crews, and they are up inside of there doing some broadcasting live. But so are we. So are we. And we're not restricted to one little area. We get to move around and have some fun. TV's camera right there for the parade. Channel 12. All right, so we are directly across the street from McCormick and Schmitz. And as it says, this year, hey, that sign says it all. It's our time. Our time for another. It's our time for another World Series. Woo! Oh, yeah, we're going to celebrate some good times today as they're playing in the background there. Six people in the stream. Come on in, say hello, thank you, share it out. We're going to say hello to everybody and welcome to Cincinnati for opening day. 
We're only two blocks up the street, two blocks from the stadium, and the parade comes right past here. Started, this is the 134th opening day parade. Oh, Sarah Dash, thank you so much for being here. Uh, hey, by the way, I'm hoping, keeping my fingers crossed, that your daughter makes that cheerleading squad so you can come join us for the Reds game that I spoke to you about previously. Now, that was going to be a good time with the veterans. Veterans and Friends Coffee Club. And we're having ourselves a Reds outing in July. If, if you're in the Cincinnati area and you're a veteran, or Northern Kentucky, I should be more, a little more specific, uh, be, be sure to come out every Friday morning and join us for the Veterans and Friends Coffee Club at Fort Thomas Coffee. Uh, let's see. Yes. Where is that? Fort Thomas Coffee. Is that right? Fort Thomas Coffee is right at the corner of North and South Fort Thomas Avenue, Highland Avenue, right in the middle of the Fort Thomas in the center, where all three streets come together. North, the Why Avenue turns. Go, uh, no, no, right across the street from U.S. Bank. Okay. Okay. Are you a veteran? I am. Uh, your My name? sister lives over in Fort Thomas. Sure. Your name? Eric. Jones. Eric. David, what branch? Air Force. Air Force. There you go. Yeah, we let Air Force people into it. No. <laughs> I was Navy, so we, it's all good. And I'm live on YouTube right now. Cool. So, yep, every Friday morning we get together, solve all the world's problems. <laughs> uh, we meet 0730, 0800. Okay. couple hours, solve all the world's problems. We disperse. The government screws everything up again over the next week, so we got to get together and do it all over again. Okay. I might try to come they, over. Come on up. Yeah, eight, we're there every Friday. Okay, cool. Woo, look at the red. Yeah. I parked on the Kentucky side of the river today and took the South Bank shuttle for a dollar right over here. I'm going to sort of stick around in this area because I want to make sure they have a good spot for this parade. And we'll get them right here as they make this turn. I realize I'm a little early, but you can tell what's going on. Let's see here. And we've got the Cincy Underground over here. The only station that's live, local, and lit. Cincinnati Underground. Ooh, there. Let's meander around this way. Nine people here. Come on in. Welcome everybody. Come in and say hello in the chat. Like, subscribe. Opening day knowledge. Uh, Opening day wisdom. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, uh, and we've got somebody handing out some propaganda. But that's all right. It's all good. <laughs> How you doing, sir? All right. Woo! <laughs> He's red and white and blue on his hat. It's all good. What are we saying? Go red. There we go. Woo. There's like a, you'll see like this so, as we're moving around here, Don oh, Jennifer Caruso, welcome in. Welcome. Glad you could join us today. Are you coming from this is officially a holiday in the city of Cincinnati. School, some schools let out, they plan their spring breaks in order to have this day off. Because otherwise, you got students skipping school to come to opening day. Always, always sold out. Uh, all right. <laughs> I'm going to back out just a little bit. Uh, Jennifer, we're in the mid-50s right now, calling for a high game time today of uh, just under 60, like 59 degrees. And with that, you know, it's 
perfect day for some baseball. Perfect day for some baseball. And then we get, um, actually, there's only been one opening day that was warmer than today. And that one was only by four degrees. So spring in Cincinnati, we're doing good. Yeah, myself, I've just got a sweat. I've got a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, and then my red shirt. So we're good. But we will have the parade coming straight down here. It starts at noon. This is Fifth Street, Fifth and Vine. Big is sort of the center of the heart of Cincinnati. Let's see here. We got some people. We got some kids. Since the streets are closed, we got some kids playing some ball out here. Wrong ball. Looks like they're getting ready for a Bengals game because they're playing some football out here. But the streets are all closed down. Get ready for in preparation for the parade. The parade is a mile and three quarters long. Starts at historic Finley, F I N D L A Y, Finley Market. And the Finley Market Opening Day Parade. If you're in Cincinnati, you need to go up to Finley Market and check it out. It's a historical old market. All kinds of stuff that you can't find other places. If you're looking for to do some sausage, now that's the place where you can get your natural casings. All right. I've heard that they've got about, I think it's like 79 floats and there's a bunch of bands, both high school and otherwise that are gonna be playing. So we will be good. <laughs> Ten people in the stream. All right. Thank you for joining us. Come on out. Have a good time. If you're here on Fountain Square and happen to be joining in, I'm down at the corner of Fifth and Vine to be ready for the parade. Right by the crosswalk. And we'll be good here. If he wants a, Kenny, if he wants a pop, layer of the group. Let's, let's walk over this way and see you. We got time, we got time. Let's go ahead. The streets are lined. People have got their... Epcot forever, yeah, baby! Oh man, you missed the skyline. You missed the skyline and stuff. Yeah, look on my Facebook and you're gonna see a great picture with some skyline props. By the way, how did you enjoy that skyline the other day? Your first ever. Yeah, we're going to do a little walking down the parade around here right now. See the people over here. They're all backed out and ready. So, here we go. All right. Right up here is where the parade would turn and come down towards us. So... You got the Netherlands Hilton right there. And this area, the old Shilato's building, Shilato's department store. This was it. How y'all doing? Who's gonna win today? There you go. All right, let's get some enthusiasm over here. Woo! Hey, Rob, welcome in. Welcome in. Uh, thanks for joining me. We're going to have a good time here today. Just getting ready. I was here, got started, was able to start the stream a little early. Uh, when the parade's done, I'm going to walk down and I'll end up finishing the stream down at the... Um, ballpark 
two blocks down. So stick around and we'll go down, see what's going on in the official party tailgate area, even though all of Cincinnati is that today. I uh, wish you were in more line right now. Yep, that would be good. How y'all doing? Real good. I am. I'm live right now. <laughs> live on YouTube. It's me, David T. Very cool. <laughs> uh, we've got good signal. Uh, Twelve people in. Come on in. Say hello. Let me know that you're here. Uh, let my mods welcome you in if I miss you. Sorry. I've only got a small area to see. And it goes by pretty quick, but this is good. Share it out. Let's have a good time. Reds opening day. Oldest team in baseball. They are the only team who is guaranteed to have opening day at home. So the Reds' first game is always at home. Nigh near to impossible. Ah, there you go, Sarah Dash. Uh oh, we got we got some tic tac toe going on. Here we go. Street chalk. Go Reds. All right. Who was the O's? Who was O's? Who won that game? <laughs> yeah, trying to stay out away from the music a little bit, so hopefully it's just a little bit in the background. 17, 17 people in the chat. Come on in, watching the stream live from Cincinnati, Ohio, folks. Personally, I've got a long history with the Reds. I was actually at the last game at their original stadium, Crossley Field. First game at Riverfront Stadium, which then became Synergy Field. I was at the last game there and the first game at the now current Great American Ballpark. So, and the parade will go another couple of blocks down the street here and that will be the end of the parade so but when it does end i'm just going to walk straight down walnut street this is fifth and walnut two and a half blocks down the street and i am at the stadium so we'll be sure to take it around epcot forever thank you jordan thanks so much for being in good stuff and fun times Head back up. Let's cross the street here. Woo! You can see people have been around for a while. What, what time did you get here today? A little bit first. What do I have going on there? Boom. Well, we're down tonight. Hello, how are you all doing? Yes, yes. I'm live on YouTube right now. You want to say hi to the stream? Hi, yeah. stream. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. What are your names? Ruth, Ruth and Debbie. Debbie? Oh. Now, okay, you got your red on under the blue. Yeah, it's a little cold out. <laughs> <laughs> nah, it's not bad. Actually, there's only been one opening day that was warmer than this, and that was one about four degrees. Going. Woo! <laughs> yeah, Jennifer, you do. You, oh, well, look at this. We're going through the steam. We're going to come out. We got a little effect coming up. No. <laughs> so, Jennifer, you're not used to smashing the like button. You're just always used to asking people to do it. <laughs> By the way, congratulations, my friend. Congratulations on that, on those shorts that have gone absolutely viral. That's crazy. I was looking again last night at the count on those, and it's awesome. That is awesome. 
And to think I was just down there in December. Well, actually, I was there in September and December. So, but I was there on a Disney cruise. Here we go. <laughs> They're saying it is our time. Look at this. Guess it might be just a little too early for the hot dog vendors. Usually you got the hot dog carts out here through the summer and everything. You have some hot dog carts with the umbrella. Come get your hot dog brought and met from your... <laughs> how y'all doing? Good. So let's go ahead and sort of hang loose for a little bit. Ooh, seven people in the chat, but that's all right. Welcome, everybody. Welcome in. Share it out. Oh, it looks like they... Oh, no, there's a gentleman who was over here before. See how 12's crew getting ready here? Yes. Got a gentleman trying to get himself focused and ready. Don't want to walk in front of him. <laughs> now, is this a camera case or is that actually a drum? So this is for a uh, parabolic mic. Aha. Uh -huh. yeah. I was going to say beat it, but no. no <laughs> you don't want to do that. <laughs> Woo, fun times and they've got the street blocked off here because this is it there again the parade will go straight down 5th street and the area over here is Fountain Square Terrific. Thank you, Sarah. Thank you very much for that information. Yes. I've got good signal. I was trying to make sure I had that. Checking stuff out. And so far, I hope that we got good thing, things hold up well. And they should. Uh, here we go. Leader of the pack right there. Oh, and we got popcorn, cotton candy, blow harders, <laughs> swords. Whoop, they're going the wrong way. Ha. Ah, there we go. I got a feeling we've got some VIPs heading down, maybe Grand Marshal. She's a police out. <laughs> hey, Dan, welcome in. Welcome in, everybody. Thank you for joining. How you guys doing? Yeah. Real good. I am. I'm live right now on YouTube. Do you want to say something? You want to talk? There we go. What's your name? Oh, I'm Winston. What are you recording on? Winston. Langston. Langston. I'm sorry. What are you recording on? I'm live on YouTube right now. There you go. Congratulations. Now, are you going to the game or just the parade? Oh, I'm going both. Uh, there you go. Where are your seats? Uh, front row and uh, 109. Yeah, and the very front row. There you go. Oh, man. Awesome. Awesome. You guys, bring home a winner today. 
Yeah, we've got to. Yeah, now if you want to go back and see it, uh, the channel is It's Me, David T, the letter T. Oh, cool. yeah. It's Me, David T. If you look at it right now, you'll see it, and then you'll be able to see yourself in it. So, it's Me, David T on YouTube. <laughs> Thank you all. Go Reds! Disney Worlders, Dan, welcome in. Welcome, sir. Welcome to downtown Cincinnati. How you doing, sir? Good. Don't want to move too far because I don't want to lose my spots over here. That's it. Doesn't that look like me? <laughs> Oh, you got it? There you go. You guys want to say hi in the chat? There you go. What's your name, sir? Jordan. Jordan. Welcome, man. Welcome. It's all good. Good stuff. Sorry? What is it called? It's me, David T. The letter T. It's me, David T. That's on YouTube. That's it. I'm, I'm live. I am live right now. You're going to have a little delay from when I just spoke to you, so because it goes out and comes back. So, yeah, if you back up just a little bit, that you'll be able to see yourself. Ah, no, thank you all. Woo. Got some good areas here. It's filling in. Kyle, welcome in. Welcome, Kyle. Thanks for joining us. Welcome to opening day, the official opening day of the 2024 baseball season. It always starts here in Cincinnati. Welcome in. If you're new to the stream, please remember, this is a family-friendly channel, so please keep things, uh, help my mods out by keeping things clean in the chat. It's greatly appreciated. Thank you. Hey, God, try and get out of the way for people. It's like... Had somebody behind me and other people trying to get it squeezed through in front of me and trying to get out of the way. It's me, David, too, Art. Right? Follow me on Instagram, Art. Right? <laughs> How y'all doing? Real good. That's right. You want to say hi? I'm live on YouTube right now. Uh -oh. okay. You guys want to say hi? What are your names? Zach. Emily, Zach, where are you from? We're from Milford, Ohio. There you go. Welcome in. Yeah. Are you going to the game today? Unfortunately not. But no. We want to get out of the parade and celebrate the Reds and ready to have this, fun. This is good. Go, you can go from here down to the banks and be right there at the ballpark and get. There you go. All right. Hopefully this year we're gonna win. Terrific. No, that's what we're looking for. We need that World Series, 1990. It's been a little while. It's been a little bit. I was four years old, so it's been a little bit. You never know. And this will be our time. Like that ladies, did you see the ladies sign? Over there says our time. I did. It is. You gotta keep our fingers crossed. Yeah. And get down there and support them. That's one of the big things oh, yeah. too. We're going to multiple games. It's that tonight. Terrific. No. Hey, enjoy it. Thanks for saying hi. Harper Leary, welcome in. Welcome in, everybody. Woo! Oh, my goodness, look at this. Here now, we've got 
the Channel 12 people. No, I, I, I don't think we're close to 58 on this. We're, we're heading that way, Doug. It's so much warmer now than it was. This is the actual Channel 12 news crew down here. Mr. Bob Herzog. What's going on? Bob Herzog. Hey, now we are we are live on YouTube right now. What? We're, uh, we're live on live YouTube? Live on YouTube. My Lord. Tens of millions of people could be watching worldwide. That's a nice little uh, handicap. That you got there. The gimbal. Love a gimbal. Big fan. You're great. I don't have one hey, of you guys do a great job. It's appreciated. Oh, appreciate you. Appreciate yeah. you. Yeah. Happy opening day. Yeah. Best news day survived. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we love that. Now he, is, Bob Herzog, he is in. He used to do dance party Fridays, and they took it off because they're getting copyright for on the music. But he would go out on a Friday and they play a song and he'd dance to it and on the air in the morning every Friday morning dance party Fridays, and then they had to stop it because of copyright. Same thing that we deal with here on YouTube. A little crazy. <laughs> but it's good. So the... And Bob actually is very involved with the Cincinnati Children's Theater in their shows down here that he gets cast in a bunch of them. Fun time. Let's see. I'm thinking... I might actually move over because this area is crowding in. Let's see. Yeah, I guess if I guess if we wanted to be we, we should be good. Let me check with the police officer here to see if we're going to be okay or out here in this area. Hi, how are you? What What are our restrictions as far as to where we're allowed to be? You know, I feel like can we be in this crosswalk area? So you cannot be in the crosswalk. But you have to keep these lanes open. Sure. Just in case, you know, God exactly. So exactly. As far as that, you can be as far as the sidewalk as possible. Okay. No, thank you. Thank you very much. And thank you for all you guys do every day. It's greatly appreciated. That's what I said. All right. Oh, welcome in, uh, Emma Jane 327. Hey, no, thank you very much and welcome. Welcome to It's Me, David T. And good times. Thank you very much for coming in on the stream. It's appreciated. How y'all doing? Trying to keep a lane open here. Uh oh. Now that's an interesting ring. <laughs> that one would definitely get somebody's attention. Okay. What's the Reds home zone? Take me out to the ball game, of course. How y'all doing? Good. 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 Hey, how about it? Go Reds! Mods, thank you all very much for joining me. I know it's tough on a day like this, as it's not a holiday for you, but it is in the city of Cincinnati. So, let's see here. I'm going to have to find a spot pretty quick. Uh, yeah, because we're coming up at 12 o'clock.
Let's see. Uh, do, do, do. But then again, with people that have been here, I don't want to block them. Dick, I see a spot. Excuse me, please. Thank you. That's so cool. That's awesome. Sorry. Excuse me. I move through them. Somebody else jumps in. Uh, nope, that's not going to work. Yeah. I'm going to get some blood. Excuse me, please. Thank you. <laughs> Should have claimed my spot a little earlier. <laughs> Trying to get a spot for fireworks. Excuse me, please. Right by that pole. Thank you. Here we go. Yeah, I thought I saw a spot that would be good, but people have got their chairs that I didn't see. So, excuse me, please. Thank you. Let's see here now as we maneuver through. Sorry, guys. Yeah. Here we go. Maneuver through. I guess I'm going to wind up right here. Sarah, how's that look for that corner? That should be good. Should be good. Well, I can zoom in a little. So I think we're going to stay right here for the spring. All right. So everybody, welcome in. Welcome in. Share it out. Yeah. Corner of Fifth Street and Vine. Right here in front of McCormick and Schmidt's in Cincinnati for the opening day parade. Woo, here we go. Get ready. Yes, it starts a few blocks down the street at 12 o'clock. Just imagine. Festival of Fantasy Parade starts at 12 in Frontierland. It takes a little bit for it to get up to the front of the park. So it'll take a little bit of time for it to get here, but we're good otherwise. little idea as to what it looks like over at Fountain Square. Tyler Davidson Fountain. Yeah, we've got a boom from the TV station in the way there. Fountain Square. Skyline Chili, the official chili of all the major sports. Soccer, baseball, football. <laughs> uh, you never know with this. There might be a mock-up of one, something similar. There might be something similar, Jordan. You never know. <laughs> Look, they're clearing the aisles. Clearing the path here. Thank you. 
All right. So, whoever's in chat, thank you for watching the stream. Thank you very much. It's greatly appreciated. Hope you enjoy it. All these people around trying to get through their selfies. But not not like it was, if it was Jennifer Caruso out here, everybody wants their picture with her. <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> Yeah, they definitely get their skyline. Skyline, Gold Star, Dixie Chili on the Kentucky side of the river. Debbie Bernfeld, welcome in. Hello, my friend. Thank you for joining us. Brian L., happy opening day. Welcome in. Yeah, we're just waiting on this parade to get started. Debbie, this is... Center of Cincinnati, Fountain Square. Clear the parade route, please. Clear the parade route. Fountain Square is directly across the street. You can hear the music jamming from the stage over there. That area is always hosting parties, bands. They've got entertainment every night of the week over there, basically. Everybody, welcome in. Thanks for joining us. Started about a little, a little under an hour ago that I was here, ready to go, and got things started. So we're doing good. Yeah. DMG, that's Divisions Maintenance Group. They moved right down here in the center of downtown Cincinnati from the Kentucky side of the river, actually. My daughter, Caitlin, um, that's where they met. So neither of them work for Divisions any longer, but uh, Divisions just moved over here less than a year ago into this new, that used to be a Macy's. So they got a little Channel 12 running on the Jumbotron down here as well. Jordan, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Fun times. If you're as they would say in Lurker's Lounge, enjoy the stream. Thank you for joining us. But I do ask you, please just pop over and say hello real quick so you can... So we can at least recognize you being here in the stream and joining us. It's greatly appreciated. Um, actually, there may be a person coming in, Rosie Raven. Rosie Raven, she is in St. Thomas working on a private charter yacht. She's a Navy veteran from Cincinnati and huge Reds fan. Normally she'd be out here all done up going to the game, part of the Patriot pinup group, uh, come out for honor flight and that to welcome back all the veterans and everything. Good stuff and I got a feeling she may be popping in. She may be coming in the street.
Parade should be getting ready to kick off. So right now we're just hanging loose, waiting for that to get going. Oh. Can I, let's see if I can zoom in on it. There's a police drone up there. Jacob, <laughs> my drunken son. Probably a police drone. Keep an eye on everything. I'm just wondering when the crew is going to show up here, dude. <laughs> Your Red Sox hat. Right, hey, it's man. red. That's what counts. And they're not. Pete McDevitt's going to do today. Pete. He's scheduled to cover the Baltimore game, but last night he was saying he might have to cancel that because the game may be pushed to Friday due to. Uh, the weather in that area. <laughs> so may maybe he'll pick up here. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Just now it's a matter of hurry up and wait. A lot of people around having a good time, though. That's for certain. Are you all going to the game, too? Yeah. There you go. I thought Andre Patton, welcome in. I may have mispronounced that first name, but welcome in. Thank you for joining us. Welcome to Cincinnati and opening day. Yeah. The 134th official Finley Market, F-I-N-D-L-A-Y Market opening day parade. It should be probably going to be about 15 minutes before it gets to this area, but that's that's sort of the way things go. I wanted to be down here at the main area. Good spot for it. Ah, uh, we got banner towing planes flying around. Stella Rosa. I got it. All my viewers. Hey Jennifer, are we back? Jordan. Are we back? I don't know who that is. Then I tell him about it. But I talked to Lucy 
Sorry, folks. I don't know what happened. Hopefully, we've got that fixed. Back to the parade is it should be coming around the corner here very short. Are we back? Got our viewer count coming back up. Hopefully we're good. Pickleball, you like pickleball. See, they fill it in. Good, good. Thank you, Jordan. Thank you. Who knows why it dropped, but lag happens. We know that. Thanks for letting me know we're back. Sarah Dash, thank you. Jennifer Caruso, if you're still with me, thanks for the recommendation. I even tried that with my stream labs. So hopefully that maybe that's what did it. You know what happens with people going to the kitchen? They get hurt. Few people crossing the block here and there still, but the parade has kicked off. Should be coming up here shortly. <laughs> this day, there will be a lot of kids out of school, parents bringing them down for the parade, go to the game. Oh, my. My son, my daughter is sick. Uh, Debbie Bernfeld, welcome back in. Thank you for coming over and joining. I was hoping Pete would pop in. I haven't seen him yet. He must be tied up with something. Getting ready for his stream. I think he's starting at 2 o'clock. Hey, Debbie, uh, do you know, did Pete change the game that he's covering? Did they end up moving the Baltimore game to tomorrow? He was talking about that last night possibly happening. Welcome back. Here we are. Cincinnati, Ohio, opening day. It's this way every year for opening day. Doesn't matter what the weather is, unless it was totally canceled. This is the way the baseball season starts in Cincinnati every year. Oh, a little breeze.
Just had a little breeze coming down here between the buildings. Hopefully, I'm not getting a lot of uh, any wind noise there. Yep. I'm seeing cameras up, and I just heard sirens. So, real quick from the police, a little, just a little blast up the street. So, I think I see the blue lights and red lights in the reflection there of the start of the parade. Debbie, thanks. I appreciate your answer. 11 people watching. Thank you all very much. Thanks for joining us. Parade is coming up right here, I do believe. You want to see a good party? Yeah. Other other cities we do we do something like this for a Super Bowl win. Cincinnati we do it just for the start of the baseball season every year. Change it from three dollars to thirty. Yeah, the Elm Street said if you get here before eight thirty, they'll give you five dollars. But after eight thirty, it's eight cheap. I didn't think fifteen. That's cheap. Yep, here we go. Okay, thanks, Debbie. Thanks. Jordan, you were asking about a Maleficent. Here you go, look at this. We got the fire going. <laughs> There's your Maleficent. <laughs> Maleficent. <laughs> uh, Rosie's fireworks, of course. Of course. Rosie's famous fireworks is located here in the Cincinnati Tri-State. One of the world's leading pyrotechnics companies. Actually, they started or they used to make all of the shells for Disney. Everything that was shot at Disney was produced by them, but Disney's doing them. them. They have their own area now that they're doing it. But it was Rosie's. I want more boom, boom, boom from those, <laughs> from that pyro. <laughs>
I think the whole police force for Cincinnati is out here right now. Sarah, thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Military, military representation in the way of band. Army Band.
official sponsor float coming up. Finlay Market, F-I-N-D-L-A-Y Market here in Cincinnati. One of the nation's oldest markets. Open air area and interior. Great to hit them in summer. Sarah Dash, I am not going to the game. I don't have tickets. I'm going to end the stream. I'm going to go down to... Here we go. Buy me some peanuts and cracker jacks. I don't care if I ever get back. She had Shotzi. <laughs> I like her shirt, Cincinnati Invented Hustle. Not sure who everybody is here coming along. They need some signage on the sides of the convertible so let us know who it is. Oh, that's probably the corner. Because the Helena County corner is their van there. get into this parade, believe it or not. We work closely with the Sheriff's Department um, up at the Denton Schoolhouse. They're there with, with us every night we're open. Looks like we lost one of the people out of the fifes and drums there. Whoa! Throw some candy. 
me. <laughs> Throw me some, mister. <laughs> like Mardi Gras. <laughs> I don't think it'll let people throw stuff though. Yeah, here, because I see them all walk up and hand in it. Up. Oh, Sarah Dash, only if my mods are on the float with me. <laughs> well, I have to have the mods come in. We'll do a we'll do a float for, the, and then I'll go to the game afterwards. <laughs> Mark it on your calendar for 2025. Some of the politicians. <laughs> the various city council people in that. Alright, here we go. The first of our Reds mascots, we've got Gapper coming around the corner. There we go, we got Gapper. Hey, Gapper! Lisa Bellman! Lisa Bellman! The Holy Cross icon! And Pokey! Pokey Reese, former, former Reds player right there. Former Red players, Grand Marshal for this parade. Dimitri Young. They're ready for the game, but they're out in the parade.
PNC Bank. Looking for some more bands to come through. Toyota Tundra, official truck of the Reds. They actually have a Tundra out in center field up on a platform. And each game they draw a name out of a venue. It's register for it, doesn't cost anything to register. But if somebody hits a home run and that home run, the ball actually hits the truck, then the person whose name was drawn gets that truck. They actually lift it up in a place with a crane at the start of each year. So we're Thank you all for joining us, for being here. Greatly appreciated. A little bit at the mercy of the parade itself. Photos over here. Fox 19. Another one of his TV stations here in Cincinnati. Now, Sarah, actually, we've been discussing the possibility of having a dent court. We could do a uh, having a dent schoolhouse in the parade. We could do that. Stream it from there. Channel 12, and of course, these guys are live right now. We had a chance to catch up with Bob Herzog a few minutes ago. Well, about, an hour, about 40 minutes ago. Good old Jim Scott. Jim Scott, historic radio announcer from 700 WLW. Retired in 2015 and is dealing with ALS. Jim Scott! He has ALS. That came out a year or two ago. Mr. Red. There we go, Mr. Red. Take that, that, that next door. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> Radio stations. And Where's Katie Waters? Shows of love for your honorary Grand Marshal. Let's give it up for Jim Scott. <laughs> One more time, I need all of Fountain Square to get up and get loud and show some love for Jim Scott. <laughs> Kroger Company. This is the home of the Kroger Company. National headquarters for Kroger's. Um, Procter and Gamble. Let's go Reds! Let's go Reds! Let's go Reds! Let's go Reds! I hope you're enjoying it. Oh, and we got the Bearcat. Cincinnati, University of Cincinnati's mascot, the Bearcat. You see cheerleaders? WLWT. <laughs> okay, and Jeff Ruby. You can see the sign right over here. Jeff Ruby. Top Steakhouse in Cincinnati. Jeff Ruby, right here at Fountain Square, his foundation. He actually has a horse race at Turfway Park that he sponsors. That's known as the Jeff Ruby Stakes, and it is a qualifier for the Kentucky Derby. Here we go, Mr. Redlegs and Rosie. They're coming around the corner over here. <laughs> Channel nine. Okay, here, let's.
of Fame broadcaster. You're retired two years ago, if I remember right. Marty Brenneman. Let's go, Marty! Yeah, Marty! He is in the Hall of Fame. Kid Glove game. One of the things that the Red sponsor. Bengals Hall of Famer, Anthony Munoz is coming up. in his recliner now. Busy area. Why are we running? <laughs> Heather Renee French, 
Miss America 2000. From Maysville, Kentucky. Not bad when you... <laughs> he's yelling at me. Not bad when you get former Miss America in the parade. South Bank Shuttle, the compliments of Tank, T the Transit Authority of Northern Kentucky, T-A-N-K. That's what I rode to get over here. I parked over on the Kentucky side and got the South Bank Shuttle $1 to come over. Come over. It'll be a dollar to get back. So I didn't mean to bump you there. Just had to change hands. It's getting tight in here. There we go. We got draft horses. Simpreg Credit Union. This is the pooper scooper for the horses. <laughs> now, that's the trailer. They don't just have the guy pushing the barrel like they do at Disney. They got a whole trailer. Since I inquire, which actually isn't in Cincinnati any longer. More horses, more draft. Okay, Wiedemann. Wiedemann Brewery, Wiedemann Beer. Wiedemann out of Newport, Kentucky. Actually, my father-in-law used to work there. And our next door neighbor used to work there as well. Wait a minute. There we go. There, there's their scooper. This is opening day in Cincinnati. This is how it's done. No other community does it anything like this.
Finlay Market, sponsor of opening day parade every year. This is the 134th opening day parade. Cesar Reds. Oh, here you go. Look at these horses. Started backing up. Rhoda Ofar. We got the Dragonfly Express coming up here. We're all trying to see, read what the signs are. They got the power stacks going. And we've got a band. Looks like one of the high school bands behind them.
Uh oh, we got a. There's a hold up here. Not sure what happened. There we go, one of the bands are playing. guy from Channel 12 out there tossing his mic around like a baton. Red's Hall of Fame Museum. Located over in Bellevue, Kentucky. The first stop on the Kentucky side of the river. The, when you're going south, New Rip is the first stop on the Bourbon Trail. So, Jordan, if you wanted to come up and go do the Bourbon Trail, you start right here at New Rip Distillery, right next to the largest liquor and party store in the country, the Party Source. Moreline, Shane Lane, oh, Little Kings. Little Kings Cream Ale. Seven ounce bottle. Oh, 
Oh, they did clear. I was wondering if the chicken, if the cow was going to hit the... Okay. Chick-fil-A. Apparently, you can now get Chick-fil-A in Great American Ballpark. Gaming located about 35 minutes north of Cincinnati and it is right next to the Cincinnati Outlet Mall where the only Disney store in Ohio, Kentucky, Indiana, West Virginia is located. They're all side by side. Cons, one of the famous meatpacking areas. The meatpacking plants here. Hot dogs, brats, meats. Your uh, sausages, now owned by the Hillshire Farms Group. Cons. <laughs> Carlisle High School Marching Band out of Carlisle, Ohio. The fiber, since I built. Because they've gone to an all fiber network, they changed the name. There you go. These are a whole group of Lady Reds fans. They have been around forever. The Rosy Reds.
FC Cincinnati, the major league soccer team. Their stadium is located right up in the area by Cincinnati's famous music hall. Not too far from here, just a little north of Great American Ballpark and now the Paycor Stadium, home of the Bengals. Okay, here, how are we doing? Now this is pretty cool. the wheels on that. Unicycles. I didn't know they still made unicycles. Say, sir. It's a holy roll. <laughs> 96 Rock, another one of the radio stations. George Foster, one of the Reds' all time greats. Right out of the big red machine. So we've been going for the best part of an hour on this parade. Since it got to us. Welcome in, welcome to Cincinnati on opening day.
This is Cincinnati's opening day parade. Happens every year. First day for the Major League Baseball season. A lot of the people here will come up, watch the parade, and then they'll just walk from here down to the stadium, which is just two blocks down the street. Our truck almost makes you like a chitty chitty bang bang a little bit. Just a little taller. Put a lift kit under it. You just made it. I know. <laughs> I know. I left my friends. <laughs> you going to the game? No, I'm uh, not. Yeah. We're just going to hang out here for a while. There you go. Piece of steel from the World Trade Tower. 9-11 steel. Canada Precision Lawnmower Drill Team. Hey Debbie, um, Larry Brown is Epcot Forever's dad. Jordan's father. <laughs> Here we go. Little key bank action, so a lot of get a lot of the banks and businesses and stuff around here. It all All 
All right. What do we got? Sin City Shakers. One of our local 12 meteorologists down here getting a bunch of selfies with people. The Flying Pig Marathon. That is one of the best marathons in the country to run. For all the support, the people lining the routes and all, cheering everybody on. If you're a marathon runner, make sure to come out to Cincinnati and give us a, give it a try. The finish swine, not finish line, finish swine. We'll have groups, crowds like this around it. So welcome you back in and the whole route, 26 miles gets flying too. Flying pig. This is the way to start a baseball season. Most definitely a way to start the baseball season is in Cincinnati. Woo! All right. Little Debbie had a booth over here giving out mini muffins. Hi, we got the muffin man. Only the muffin man can take this much flavor in every little Debbie mini muffin. With some just three Somebody did their own, Mr. Redlegs mascot head. This is not the Reds mascot per se, but They told us we couldn't be in the street, but so much for that.
Not sure if there's still a lot of people over there looking down. There's somebody else coming along. Got just a little break in the parade. The county junior ROTC. Got to appreciate those guys and their commitment. Cincinnati group. Newport Aquarium, one of the best aquariums in the country. They're right across the river in Newport, Kentucky.
the UC group went through earlier. You had the UC band, the cheerleaders, and there may have been some of the dance troupe there as well. They were pretty early on in the parade. Celebrating the legacy of King Records. Hey, how are you doing, man? Oh. King Records here in Cincinnati. You're trying to save the building and make it into a museum. Larry Brown, Epcot Forever, you guys would love that. James Brown recorded there. A lot of, a lot of history through King Records. The Wiz, W I Z. Mount St. Joseph University. So as you can see, folks, opening day in Cincinnati is a big deal. When you've got the nation's oldest Major League Baseball team, not as in the players that are on there are the oldest players for a team this year, but Cincinnati Reds were the first Major League baseball team anywhere in the country. Now that's quite the bike. Look at this one. Oh, guys, okay, he's got a... He got a... PA system strapped to the back of it. I can't look at it. How are you? Well, he he's been around forever. I just can't think of his name. He just goes to the events. Uh, he he was trying to uh, where Hard Rock Camp, or Hard Rock Casino is. He was trying when they were building Great American Ballpark. He was trying to get them to. Put it there versus down at the river. So, I'm trying to remember his name, man. Left hand side. Taste the Belgium. Free Belgium waffle. Here. Here we go. Here. Let, let me get that. There you go. Now, if you got to taste the Belgium around, scan that QR code there, there that I'm giving you, and you can get a free Belgium waffle. <laughs>
Lebanon. Lebanon City High School. Lebanon High School. Before I head down to the stadium, when the parade's done, before I head down to the stadium, I'm going to have to put the battery on. Hey, perfect timing. Because after almost three hours of streaming on yeah! that, 33 percent. Batavia High School. Parade, folks. Maybe, maybe not. No, it's not. Nah. I can happen to look up here at the Jumbotron and see that there's still more coming. But the crowds, since a zoo, here we go with our famous hippos. Baby hippo that was born premature and they nursed it by hand. And that hippo is still in the hearts of the entire community.
Okay. I can look up at the Jumbotron and see that, that if there's things still coming along. And that and there are. We've still got more. Oh, wait, Sarah. A, a dent schoolhouse float would be awesome. All right, we could have a ball with that. Cincinnati Circus. Hey, like it says, Google them now. The Cincinnati Circus. Alex Hall, it is. Thanks for subscribing and thanks for coming into the chat. The Cincinnati Circus. Goodness. Ah, a clown! McDonald's, right on McDonald's. Still another band coming. It's the Elder High School Marching Band. Elder High School, actually out of the west side of Cincinnati, right up, not far from the Dent Schoolhouse. All boys Scott High School. So the ladies are all from Seton High School, which is the all girls high school right next to it. Uh, both of them Catholic schools. There you go. If you want to come to Cincinnati and party, you get this drive around and drink. See, you pedal. Everybody pedals while you're drinking and going around the pedal wagon. Pedalwagon.com. Good way to get a bunch of people around and go between bars and Sam Adams. Sam Adams Brewery now in Cincinnati. The Cincinnati Opera. Presidential representation from Cincinnati, William Howard Taft. Uh, his birth home is here in Cincinnati. It's, it is a historical site, uh, part of the 
United States National Park Service. Lynchburg Clay marching Mustang. It looked like. I see another color guard coming up in the back of here to do. Out of the great parks. Great parks of Ohio. Cincinnati's Parks System, Great Parks. Looks like Xavier University. <laughs> Musketeers, the Xavier Musketeers. You can tell. It's a lengthy parade and good, good stuff. Everybody, thank you very much for joining me today. Sorry about the lag before. Nothing I can do about that, though. I'm hearing some sirens coming up back here. Maybe it's towards the end of the parade here. And then we'll take a minute to get the battery plugged in. And then we'll make our way down towards the stadium. Crosley Field, historical site. Ah, uh, Sarah. 
care. Thanks. Yo, I know I had lag earlier because you guys told me. Who knows what happened there, but... Cincinnati was the first city in the nation to have a professional paid fire department. W Waterworks, Waterworks Cincinnati. Not sure if there's more people coming or not, but Oh, people are starting to move out. I'm thinking that that may have been towards the end. So I gotta go find a spot here real quick and get this battery hooked up. And then we're gonna make our way down to the stadium, folks. Yeah. Hey, thank you all very much. Stick around and we'll go down to the festivities down there. But for right now, I need to stop for a minute and get this battery hooked up so we're good to go because I'm down to about 25%. Bear with me just a couple minutes and we'll have this ticket and you head on down towards the, the area known as the banks and the stadium. Sorry, folks, it's going to take me just a couple minutes here. Okay. Good parade. Good parade. Wish, the only thing I wish is that the band when they got to this area since it's a major hub and the TV is here and that's the main area for seeing and viewing that they had, would actually be playing when they go through this area. So many of them just go to a marching, marching to the drummer and not actually playing. Let's see. I got this. We may get a little gimbal ride here, sorry.
See how close this is, just two blocks, two blocks down the street. And we're going down to the stadium. That's right at the end of the parade. <laughs> Mods, thank you very much for being here. Everybody else who joined me, thanks. Do appreciate it. But now you'll get down here and see a big party going on down here at the area called the Banks. It's a Sort of the official tailgate area. It's a big party, bars, restaurants area in that between Great American Ballpark, the Red Stadium, and also uh, Paul Brown. Well, what was Paul Brown Stadium? It's now Paycor Stadium. Um, I'm showing good signal strength. Good. I don't know what's going to happen as I get down this way with my signal. That's the only thing. So let's we'll see. <laughs> and <laughs> construction going on and streets closed for the parade. Make it all kinds of fun down here right now. And we got about another block and a half to go to get to the stadium or the Banks area, and you'll see. I right, look at that straight ahead. Look at the hordes of people, all the red, heading down to the stadium. Gorgeous day for it. It feels good to get out and walk for a minute too. Boop, we're down to five people because the parade's over. But that's all right. Everybody who is here still, thank you very much for being here. Parking, Reds parking, very close to the stadium. 20 bucks. Good luck getting out of there if you need to. <laughs> Good place to park for Reds games is actually on the Kentucky side of the river and go down. We have the world's only floating Hooters restaurant down here. It's on a barge and they, uh, that barge, yeah, from that area, there's a ferry that goes, uh, bring it from there across the river here to drop you off right at the stadium. Great location. So when I caught that South Bank shuttle, it literally dropped me off right here. It dropped me off right there. Dan Ledbetter, if you're in the stream watching, I cannot answer the phone. Sorry.
are right here. And when we get right up here, we're going to be in the area where. Okay, we're alongside the Freedom Center and coming right up here at this traffic light is the start of the area known as the Banks. The buildings you see on the opposite side of the river, well, the buildings you see straight ahead there are actually in Covington, Kentucky. That's the River Center complex. Coming up here, you're going to see a bridge that was the precursor, sort of rumbling suspension bridge. So, here we go, folks. Big party area, restaurants, or stadium straight ahead over there. It's the Bengal Stadium, so you get the area between the Bengal Stadium. American Ballpark, which is straight ahead there. This whole area. Here we go. Should be like We're about two hours from the first pitch. Cincinnati Pizzeria, La Rosa's. Thing is that underneath us is all parking garage as well. So it makes it very easy for people to come over and park. A lot of parking lot. I gotta go all the way back. Yeah, these are streets that were intended to be open, but looks like Disney. Very good. This is the location to do it. Current at the banks.
Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> well, we have anybody with a gas. There we go. Grab a drink or two before the party in that drink. So, stadium's right in front of us. This is crowd getting ready for opening day. Fish bowl at the bank. Another bar is server drinks and fish bowls. But it's fun. Okay, here's fish bowl right over here. Sorry. Excuse me. More drinks. Burger Five. Jimmy John's. The Killer Queen. Tin Roof. And the Holy Grail coming up up here. <laughs> Trying to find a way through. And there really isn't one. You just got to move slowly with the crowd. Here's Burger Five, Jimmy John's. As I mentioned, Tin Roof right there. <laughs> the Killer Queen, and right up there with the red letters, the Holy Grail.
we're making some progress here. Yeah, we're Trying to figure out if it's solid all the way over to the stadium or not. Condados, tacos, tequila, margaritas. Right there. Folks, we got Great American Ballpark directly in front of us. Home of the Cincinnati Reds. This is opening day. An opening day here in front. Where, where, what? The drone. I see a detail. I'm live on YouTube right now. Here or just your third opening? Something else, isn't it? Did you see the parade? Uh, we we got we didn't land till twelve eighteen. I had a one o'clock meeting and then I just got here. Ah. So, and we leave at five thirty five tomorrow morning. Depending on where you are. Okay, okay. Camden uh, coming from this way shouldn't be any yeah. shouldn't be any issue. Yeah. From what I was seeing, because I immediately went over and mapped west real quick. Oh, yeah. But welcome to Cincinnati. Enjoy. Yeah. See the memorial. They do like first game certificates and, and this, this area, if you have more time, this whole thing is the Reds Hall of Fame. Okay. And museum. Cool. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. Extra tickets. That's what the holdup is. They've got metal detectors here all the way out here. So that's what the holdup is. Excuse me. All right. Let's go ahead and move on up over here. How you all doing? Good, how are you? Good. Here's the Reds team shop. Am I gonna lose my signal? Well, I hope not. This is our Reds team shop. You can come right down here to Great American Ballpark and their official team shop. And these are new. This with the C like that, those are new this year. Let's see. Oh, twelve dollars. Twelve dollars for those hats. You got more hats over here. A lot, a lot of people around in here, and here's another whole wall. Here's your jerseys. Benson, Encarnacion. Well, not jerseys, but shirts. Oh, now this is cool. 
There you go, Jordan. Check out that one. How you doing, guys? Good. Or this one. Little Hawaiian shirt action. And a whole wall of red hats in the various style. Bucket hats. Where is Maria? LBV TV when you need her. Yeah, bucket hats. We, yeah, I am. I'm live right now on YouTube. On YouTube? What's yeah. the screen? It's me, David T. Pins. Epcot Forever, you still in here. Here's your Cincy C. There's a red. Let's see. And how much are they getting on these lapel pins here? Ah, ten dollar. Ten dollars for the. Now the jerseys, the actual jerseys. Here are one hundred and fifty dollars. One fifty. And yeah, there's the second floor to it. Replica of the last World Series. 1990. At that time, I was actually doing an internship. I was doing an internship by taking a broadcasting class through a uh, school specifically for broadcasting and was had an internship with 700 WLW which is the home of the Reds their primary AM chant station for broadcasting games and they I had internship with the sports department where I was covering this World Series on a media pass when the Reds won when they're out in Oakland and won that game I was in the studios cutting highlight tapes and that to be played back after the game. <laughs> Disney after the fireworks. This C, that's an interesting deal because that it's the first I've seen of that particular logo this year. Or I haven't seen it before. So you've got all kinds of stuff in this area is pretty well open. Is the Reds team shop open Monday through Friday? Let's see what their hours are here real quick. Thank you. Head back outside. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, nine game days, Monday through Sunday, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. So you can come down any day on ga game days. They're... 10 a.m. to one hour after the end of the game. Off season, Tuesday through Sunday. So they're closed on Monday during the off season. Bronze statues out here. Yeah, kids shouldn't be hanging on that stuff like that, but. Let's see. Um, is it over here?
they are have naming rights for the stadium. And that building is the tallest building in Cincinnati with the tiara on it, the crown jewel of Cincinnati, you might say. Now, it is the tallest building structurally, except that it sits down lower on the hillside than the Carew Tower. So the Carew Tower has an observation deck on top of it, and then you can go up to there and look over, and it's actually higher, but it's just based on the elevation.